I take a bowling shoes? I think without them, you wouldn't be able to bowl. Bowling shoes are awesome. Yes, I work with the bowling shoes every day. Like I say, if you're going to put your shoes on, you better throw the ball. It's the last thing people think about when they ball are their shoes, but it's really more important than a bowling ball because if your shoes don't fit right, if there's something wrong with your shoes, if your shoes aren't matched to the approaches that you're bowling on, then you're going to have a lot of problems. Because if you go in socks, which I used to when I was a kid, you slide all over the place. Now they've come up with shoes where you can change heels, take heels on, add heels, change the sliding soles, so they're more versatile. They call them the long, short, medium slides on them. The different pads that helps you generate how far you slide on a, out in the approach. So if it's sticky out there, you want to try to get a, a sole that is a longer slide so you get through the stickiness. Or if it's too slippery out there on the approaches, then you get a short slide one, which helps you stop before you get to the foul line. Well, you want to own your bowling, own bowling shoes because, number one, economics. You bowl a lot, you may as well have your own. Uh, because of the way they fit and the fact that house shoes are not, not geared for either right or left-handed bowlers. And number two, who wants somebody else's athlete's foot fungus on your feet, huh? Uh, your own bowling shoes definitely are a higher grade of bowling shoe. If you get a, a decent pair of bowling shoes, you're going to get maybe 10 years of life out of them. So you're going to have a decent pair of leather shoes that are going to last. We've got a whole bunch. There's probably 120 styles to choose from. And if you times that by 12 sizes, there's a lot of shoes on the market. This is your basic lady shoe. It's called a Raquel. The next shoe is called a Dexter Tina. And we've got one more, which is called a Linda. This is the men's equivalent to the Raquel. It's called a Rocky. It's actually a pretty cool shoe. This is called a fill. This is the top of the line bowling shoe for men's. It's called an uh, SST5. When you strap on a pair of the SST5s, you know, you've come the ball. Just the open play bowlers that come that don't have their shoes, they just come in for fun, they just rent them. If you go to a bowling alley and rent a pair of shoes, then you're going to get a size and a half smaller because they're stretched out. Well, we try to keep at least four to six pairs of the same sizes, and so you probably use the same pair of shoes maybe like three or four times a day, depending on how big your league is and how many people rent shoes. Well, supposedly the bowling alley treats them a after people have worn them. They're supposed to spray something, you know, in them. But I personally don't like to wear what somebody else has had on their foot. Um, that's something I try not to think about. <laughs> but um, that's one thing that I, I make sure they're sprayed before I wear. And uh, the other thing is I make sure I have socks with me before I do put them on. We order a special disinfectant shoe spray through a company through Brunswick, and we spray them every time they come in. <clears throat> when they bring the, when the bowlers bring the shoes back, we spray them. And then uh, usually at night we spray the all shoes overnight, so they're ready for the morning. Uh, about every six to eight weeks, what I'll do is I'll take a, a palm olive soap and I'll clean the bottom of the shoes with a steel wire brush, let them dry out overnight, and just uh, keep that buckskin really nice and clean. On the, on the push-off foot, the right shoe, I'll take like acetone and just dissolve the dirt and just make the shoe very, very clean. Well, bowling shoes uh, definitely have to look good. The style and the colors is all coming through corporate. If we go through a specific company, we don't have a choice of what color they send us. They try to keep all the Brunswick's the same. Uh, right now we have uh, a maroon and gray and red and gray pair of shoes.
you're going to go into a bowling center and you're going to find a pair of sh bowling shoes that look like something that Bozo would wear because they don't, want, it, they don't want you to take them home and when you walk back in, they're going to say, where'd you get those shoes at? Well, they also want to try to keep the colors reasonable so they're not that uh, outspoken, I would say, or distracting at all. So they want to sort of blend it in with the 90s, you know, without having these weird colors out there. Well, they have certainly become more fashionable over the years. And I've been a lot happier since I bought my own. Back when I was about yay high, we had red, white, and blue shoes. Very bowlingish, very, very ugly. And they're actually making them more to look more like athletic shoes now, which is really nice. You know, it's almost kind of hard to tell the difference, too. I guess it can be a fashion statement, but it's not something I would wear on a day-to-day -day basis. If they had a cowboy boot bowling shoe, that would be awesome.